I'm sure something's gonna be going down. Alrighty then. Bum 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 na 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 na. How's it going? We'll go ahead and save. Might as frickin' well. You know what I'm talking about? There's no one here. I guess we have some time to rest for now. Daniel. I know, I know. We don't have a lot of time left. You'll have to make a decision soon. Don't worry, I will. I just need a little more time to think about it. Well, I'll be waiting here for you. When you've decided, come tell me. Naga? Xeno Gears. What should I do? If I help Jovian win, I'll betray the State Union and everything I've done since I first came here. But if I pass this information to the State Army, it means betraying my best friend, the only one who continued to believe in me up till now. And even if I did that, there's no guarantee the war would end. Even if Jovian loses the battle, he could still retreat and regroup. Jusolf, you're one of the few here who isn't tied to either country. What do you think? Daniel, you can't possibly expect me to make such a decision for you. It's exactly as you said. The fate of the war now lies in your hands. That's an incredible burden to bear when you're not sure which outcome is best. But I am just a mere scholar. I couldn't possibly tell you what to do. What about me, then? Am I really qualified to make that decision? I can't even ask anyone for advice. I'm not 100% sure they'd be quiet about it, and the last thing I'd want is for it to leak out. Angel said she knew I'd make the right choice, but what is she expecting from me? I just don't know. I'd rather have not known about it in the first place. At least then I wouldn't have been responsible. Well, there's been many things on our journey so far that we'd rather not have happened. But they have, and there's not much we can do about that. Wishing you'd have known nothing is not going to bring you any closer to the answer. Unless you want to do nothing and feign ignorance. Doing nothing? You mean just letting it happen? No. No matter what happens, the knowledge that I could have made a difference would be too much for me. Hmm. It's difficult indeed. But Daniel, you've only been talking about two options. Helping one side or helping the other. Why don't you start looking for another solution? Another solution? Is there really a third option? If I'm not leading either side to victory, then what? Of course, I could... But is that really possible? Hmm... It'll need work, but... Juice off. I need to go see Angel. Have you found the solution? I don't know if I found the solution, but I did rediscover what my purpose here was. Which I suppose is something. I don't know if it'll work, but I have to try it. Thank you, Juice Off. Having the opportunity to talk to someone about it helped a lot. Well, sometimes just talking about something can really help. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so... I suppose we should head back to the meeting place and just see what's going on. Yeah, it's great. That is great, sir. Uh, no, no, no. That's not what we're doing. Not what we're doing at all. 
<laughs> Have you made your decision yet? Yes. Yes, I have. It took some time, but I finally realized the obvious. Just wait, Angel. This may not be the easiest choice, but I believe that it's the right one. Well, hopefully. Sir. Huh? The colonel ordered everyone to gather outside. We're moving out immediately. What? Is this some kind of joke? No, sir. He was dead serious. Tell him I'll be right there. And he'd better have a damn good reason for this. Box has no idea what's going on. What's going on here, Daniel? What the hell are you doing? Right on time, Bost. We're about to move out. We have to intercept an enemy force heading towards Matrak. An attack? Where are they coming from? The Kyrgyzstan 3rd Legion is coming from the southeast, and will reach the city by dawn. Don't worry. I have everything under control. What do you mean, everything under control? What are you going to do? To do what I've always done, boss. To try keeping the peace. Everyone, move out. We have to reach Matrek before the Cure Guard forces do. That sounds fun. Oh boy. The, the city is almost in sight. We're approaching the final battle. Hope it. That means it's end game. <laughs> what? It's Cure Guard. But that's impossible. Where did they come from? We've received no warnings from any of the border guards. How could they have gotten here undetected? We'll save that for later. First, we need to do something about them. By the looks of it, they've mobilized an entire legion. The Matrek Guard alone can't handle this. Quick, send out messengers to Mayfall, Elysium, and all minor defense posts. This is an emergency of the highest degree. All we can do is hold out until reinforcements arrive. It looks like we've caught them off guard. The city defenses are in a state of confusion. March on, everyone. We have to gain the upper hand while we still have the element of surprise. We don't have enough time. Against a force this large, is there nothing we can do? Wait, what's that? Ah! Captain! It's, it's the Elysium army. They're here? But that's impossible. How could they have made it so quickly? I moved out on my own accord, Captain. I was informed that this battle would occur. W what? Are you saying you knew this attack was going to happen? Why didn't I hear about this? Yes, informing you was one of my options, but not what I ultimately chose to do. Daniel. With the information I had, I could have led either side to victory in this battle. However, that's not what I've been fighting for. My whole reason for being here is to stop the fighting in the first place. This battle, this whole war is pointless, and it should not continue for any longer than necessary. Jovian, go home. Kyrgyzstan has already lost its advantage. You can no longer afford the costs of fighting this war. The second and fourth legion have already suffered decisive defeats, and if you move any further, I'll make sure you'll fare no differently. There's nothing more for you to gain here. Just give up. Captain, this man is my friend. Even though we're on different sides now, I know he still thinks of me the same way as before. I can't let him fight a lost battle, and I can't let him be captured or die here. We've shown Kiergaard that the State Union is capable of defending itself. Now it's time to end this conflict. I say to you the same as I did to Jovian. Move no further, or I will order the Elysium army to fight back. Daniel, is this the right choice? I don't know, Angel. No, it doesn't matter if it's the right or wrong. This is the only decision I could make. Angel, I never thought you'd forsake our country for the sake of us two. I guess I underestimated you. And you too, Daniel. What you've accomplished here in such in such short time is just amazing. 
I don't think I could have done it myself. General Knight, what are we supposed to do? I know, Daniel. He's serious about this. If we advance, the Elysium army will hit us in the flank. We might win, but it will be a bloodbath. I can't go that far. It seems you've left me with no other option than to retreat, Daniel. Goodbye. I hope we can meet again under better conditions sometime soon. Colonel, what are you doing? Intercept the enemy at once. We can deal Kiergaard a lethal blow right here. I can't do that, Captain. Everything will end here. No more blood will be spilled. This is a direct order. We can't trust them to end it here. We have to strike first to maintain our advantage. First you withhold vital information from me, and now you refuse to obey my orders? Your actions will bring ruin upon us all. I knew it. I knew you couldn't be trusted. Well. It looks like Kiergaard is pulling out. And, and there's no sign of the state army pursuing them. They're probably not going after Kiergaard by themselves. I'm glad that's over. I had no idea how they were going to react. You did great, sir. But it wasn't easy. Far from it. Everyone, you probably, you're probably all confused about what just happened. Maybe even angry. That's fine. I never forced any of you to fight for me. And I will not force you to stay. The decision is up to you. But rem remember this. Our countries have been have seen one war after the other. It will not end until we stop perpetuating the hatred between our countries. Think about what you're fighting for. Is it to defend your own homes, or to destroy the enemies? This battle has ended without a single casualty. None of you had to risk your lives or die. Isn't that how it always should be? Maybe you think I'm naive and idealistic, but I've experienced life on both sides. And there is really no difference. An interesting way to think of it, though. Colonel Vineyard, your actions are beyond my comprehension. You must have had your reasons, but I don't understand them, and I never will. I am here on behalf of Captain Aaron of the Matret Guard. You've left us no choice. Colonel Vineyard, you're under arrest for treason. What? I understand. I'll come with you. Don't do it, sir. If you go with them, you'll be... No, Yara. I must take responsibility for my actions. They must come to understand. Otherwise, it was all for nothing. But this is also something I have to do. Lead the way. I'm yours. Daniel, was that really the right decision? I suppose only time will tell. Do you see now, Chancellor? We were right from the beginning. Now we've finally seen the continuous threat that Kiergaard poses to our nation and the treachery of its people. You can't defend him any longer. This is a direct order on this is a direct attack on the country. Please calm down, Governor. We don't have all the facts yet. We shouldn't jump to any conclusions. Jumping to conclusion? The evidence speaks for itself. We must set an example. Disband the Elysium Army and bring it under the command of our own people. Make its commander pay for betraying our trust. We're running out of patience, Chancellor. And so are the people. They will reach the same conclusions as we have, and you will lose their support if you do not take action. The future of the very nation you built is at stake here. Listen to us, Chancellor. Bonk is dead, Highland is out of control, and we've lost Hellman Island. This is the worst situation we've been in since the formation... Since the formation of the State Union. Oh, okay. A signal of unity to the people of this country is necessary. What better way than to make an example of that Kiergaard man who embodies exactly what we struggle against? That traitor deserves it.
Captain Aaron, please tell me you haven't lost your mind as well. You've arrested that traitor, haven't you? Yes. Daniel Vineyard is in our custody. Captain, the governors are telling me that Colonel Vineyard has brought our nation to the brink of destruction. What is your take on the matter? It's clear to me the colonel has no sense of loyalty to us, and only follows orders when it suits his own goals. Regardless of what his reasons were, he kept information about Kiergaard's plans from us, and disobeyed direct orders. I will not make any judgments about the future of our country, but he has disgraced the state army with his actions. I'm sorry. I failed. Daniel Vineyard will stand trial in state court. They will decide what will happen to him. Well, this is an interesting turn of events. So we shall save.